So you've downloaded the JotForm app on your phone. What can you do with the app? Let me show you. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. I'm Kimberly, and there's a ton of things that you can do on your phone with the JotForm app. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the JotForm app. And let's say that we want to look at a form. We just wanna see what the form looks like before we send it out. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my welcome form. And from here, we're going to choose fill out. So this is what my form is going to look like on mobile. Now on the other side, if we would have clicked on edit form, it would have taken us to the form editor. And one of the things that I love about the JotForm app is it feels just like the desktop. We can add elements, we can change the design all from within the app on the go. So let's go back and let's talk about some submission data. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the form that I want to see the submission data for. We'll go ahead and click on submissions. So from here, you can see your list of submissions up at the top right we have a little drop down and we can choose how to sort these submissions right now it's on the newest we can sort it by the oldest red unread i'm going to go ahead and leave it on the newest and let's say i'm going to choose a laura's now up at the top we have a couple things that we can do the first thing we can do is we can click on the little person with a plus sign and we can add this person to our contacts the next one is the edit button. So if we know that she misspelled her name or she didn't put .com at the end, we can edit that. The next one is the share button. This is gonna open up your sharing preferences. You can share it with anyone. And then the three dots is going to bring you more options. From here, we can download it as a PDF. We can print it, we can delete it, we can star it, or we can look at some more settings. We can change the header settings and we can also change the field settings. So if you have empty form fields, you can choose to hide those and you can also choose the show hide fields button and show hide fields that way too. If you have any questions about using the JotForm app, please let us know and I'll see you next time.